this is a very important hub of the North and needs to be developed in many different ways and different aspects. And this announcement today is one of those aspects. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm thrilled to be here today to announce that our government is investing more than $1 million to support two key infrastructure projects in the municipality of Sulacau. So the first project has been mentioned, has been many years in the making, requiring much planning, fundraising, and negotiating. That's why I'm pleased to announce that Fednor will be providing the $1 million to assist Sulacau with its Farlinger Park Town Beach Waterfront development project. I just want to reiterate to the constituents here and the community of Sulacau, I was on the Municipal Council when we first started the waterfront in Kenora. And there are many people who had differing opinions of the importance of that. But today, if you ask those who weren't as convinced as I and others on council in those days of the importance of that, uh, they will have changed their minds. It really did make a big difference and improved not only the lives of individuals who live here, but the community's social and economic infrastructure. And I want to congratulate the, the mayor and council for having the wisdom to keep this moving forward because you'll see the difference once it's up and running of what it means to everyone, whether they're visitors or people that live here. So this is an important investment that will help revitalize the waterfront and establish it as a quality destination. It will link the waterfront to the downtown business districts and establish a corridor through which increased tourism and business development can take place. It will include a mix of uses such as housing, recreation, entertainment, and small business, increasing its tourism appeal, but also greatly enhance our ability to hold world-class events at the waterfront. All told, this new destination will enable business growth and new development and create jobs and opportunity. And while we're on the subject of tourism, I would also like to announce an additional $36,000 to Canada 150 Community Infrastructure Program to support the construction of a playground and a pavilion structure at the Sulacau Tourism Information Centre. This new structure will enable the hosting of gatherings and community events, further helping to increase tourism in the area. So together, these two priority infrastructure initiatives will deliver positive, long-term results for the people and businesses of Sulacau. 